this dominated social media, dominated headlines, was the A block of a lot of news programs. But I am curious because we have heard these names before trickle out in years. Is this a bombshell? Would you characterize that as? Well, I think we have to wait uh, till we review all of the documents in their entirety. Uh, there are bits and pieces that, that um, uh, when you uh, look with a magnifying glass, you find some really troubling things. Something that really troubled me last night when I was reviewing these documents was uh, a deposition uh, that came forward that talked about a magician David Copperfield being at a dinner where he specifically talked to a young woman and said to that woman, are you aware that uh, these girls are being used to recruit other girls? Now, if that, uh, and again, we have not heard from David Copperfield since then, so he hasn't been able to defend himself uh, with this uh, dinner conversation. However, you have, um, what it shows is that way back when, when this was in its early stages, uh, well before many, many uh, uh, victims um, uh, or uh, many women, young women were victimized, that there were individuals like a David Copperfield who were able to kind of see through uh, what was going on with Jeffrey Epstein and that these individuals, as far as we know, uh, did not alert, alert authorities as to what was going on. So that is troubling to me. That one was alarming for sure, but I am curious. I do want to note first that just because a name does appear on the list doesn't yes. confirm any wrongdoing, but what does yeah. it confirm and what does it not confirm? Does it just confirm how large Jeffrey Epstein's orbit really was when it comes to the rich, the powerful, the influential? Yeah, I mean, this is a story of power, sex, royalty, politics. Um, the abundance of these names, these um, uh, A-list names, uh, politicians, uh, uh, royals, uh, celebrities, uh, top scientists, uh, uh, top uh, lawyers, uh, shows the world how Jeffrey Epstein, as I said, leveraged uh, these connections that he made with these individuals. Um, as I said, 99% of these names have not been accused of any wrongdoing. However, Jeffrey Epstein is um, such a, uh, 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 I mean, his story uh, is, is so criminal in nature and, and so horrific uh, as to the crimes that were committed that anyone who associated with him, of course, is going to be scrutinized as to, well, how could you hang out with this individual? How could you go out to dinner with him? Now, I do want to emphasize that um, these names that are appearing in these documents um, really are confined to the period of time before Jeffrey Epstein was uh, sentenced in Florida in 2005, uh, where he uh, put guilty to uh, a prostitution with a minor and received, uh, as we know, what, what's been called the slap on the wrist. Uh, um, conviction uh, at the time when these names like Bill Clinton, Donald Trump, uh, Al Gore were being associated with Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein at that time had not committed any crimes. Uh, we're not going to get into, through these documents, Jeffrey Epstein's life after his conviction. And for another 10 years after that conviction, uh, which I find more damning in the sense is that there were individuals powerful people uh, like uh, Bill Gates and um, uh, Leon Black, the financial wizard, a billionaire here in New York, who associated with him after his conviction. Um, again, uh, uh, these men have not been accused of wrongdoing, but uh, Jeffrey Epstein began associations with individuals like the Bill Gates or Leon Black after he was already named as a sexual offender. Uh, the individuals named in the, in the batch of papers that are coming out um, were uh, in the period of time before the Palm Beach police began looking into him in 2005.